In our spiritual life on this earth, Supreme Master Ching Hai teaches us the highest method, the Kuan Yin method, which will enable our souls to be liberated from the cycle of birth and death. And in our daily life, Supreme Master Ching Hai reminds us to live a meaningful saint's life in purity and compassion. She shares with us the art of cooking vegetarian cuisine so that we may bring a warm and loving atmosphere to our families and friends. Vegetarian cuisine is not only nutritious, but also helps our consciousness to be in harmony with nature and filled with love for all beings in the universe. Si nous voulons apporter le paradis sur la terre, nous devons vivre comme les êtres du paradis. C'est-à-dire vivre dans fashion harmonieuse en respectant la liberté et le droit de vivre de chacun. Les cinq préceptes et le régime végétarien ne sont pas vraiment obligatoires. Il s'agit seulement d'un style de vie juste et noble, celui d'un gentleman, d'un sage poste dans compassion et grandeur, et dont l'amour inclut toutes les créatures. Étant l'être le plus élevé de toute la création, nous pouvons distribuer cette grâce en percevant la vie dans le monde où nous vivons. Et c'est là vraiment contribuer à la paix sur la terre. C'est cela l'amour, la gentillesse en action. Supreme Master Ching Hai encourages and promotes vegetarianism as the noble way of living. She personally designed the Alternative Living Flyer and launched a global campaign to share this peaceful and loving message to the world. If we want to truly lead a life of love thy neighbor, the neighbors including our animal friends, especially they harms us in no way. They only beautify our life and they are loving and they make our life more lively, colorful and interesting. We should preserve them, watch them, love them, enjoy their presence. God has made it clear, He said, I made all the animals to befriend you and help you. Through her teachings, millions of people have become vegetarians or are changing their ways of thinking in regards to the sentient nature of our animal friends. With heartfelt gratitude, we sincerely thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for setting aside her precious time to share with us these wonderful vegetarian dishes and easy cooking tips. We invite you to join us on Between Master and Disciples for a gift of love, simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai. Featuring gluten protein with creamy vegan pear sauce and fresh boiled vegetables. Hello. I hope you all enjoy your vegetarian food. Okay, today we're going to make some vegan protein from uh, gluten flour. You buy ready-made gluten flour. Uh, it means uh, the protein from the wheat has already been separated from the starch. Otherwise, you can make your own. If you don't know how, you can log on to SupremeMasterTV.com. Okay. Now here I have like 200 gram of the uh, gluten flour. Good. And put a little bit of uh, water in. 
to form a dog. Yeah? Don't put too much. A little bit at the time. And then use some uh, fork or chopstick to steer it. If not enough water, you put more. I had a cup of water there, but I put only half yet. Mix it together to form a dog, yeah? Not too wet, huh? Okay. To add more water all the time. Here you go. Now you have to use your hands to mix it all together. Mix the water. Here. Okay, then it becomes a dough like this, like a ball. We put it aside and turn on the cooker to boil some water. In a pot like this, you put like half full of water and boil it up. Gluten protein is a protein that's separated from uh, wheat flour. Yeah, normally bread making wheat flour. Okay, and for that we also need to have sauce to eat with. So for the sauce we need some soy milk, some uh, mushroom seasoning if you have, or you know the vegetable seasoning and some uh, whole black pepper and some flour. Also some uh, ground black pepper if, if you need. And some salt and maybe maggi or soy sauce. And a pear as well. Mm. A pear is to sweeten the sauce. You know, we're going to grate the pear or chop it very thin and put it in the sauce later on to sweeten it without having to use any sugar. And of course, we eat it with boiled zucchini and boiled squash, pumpkin, yes. or any other vegetable that you prefer. While waiting for the water to boil, we can prepare vegetable. We can uh, shell the pear. And make it all ready for the sauce. And uh, shell the zucchini, or not shell the zucchini, or you can use it like that. And shell or not shell the pumpkin, it depends on you. If you have a grater, then you can grate the pear. If not, you just uh, slide it very thin, like that, with a, you know, sharp knife. Have a little saw at the edge. So like this is very, very thin. Take the uh, inside seat off, hey? Eh? So it make a smoother sauce. And after you slide it thin, you chop it finer still. Yeah? Very, very 